Hello, everybody. Okay, so... Last time that I played, I, uh... You know, died in the Mantis Cruiser, and now I am in the, uh... The F Federation ship. I don't remember what this one is called. I called it the Zeta, but I don't remember what the specific name of the ship type is. But so far, I think that we're doing okay on, uh... Everything. I'm gonna turn the music volume down a little bit. It's kind of loud in my headphones. We're gonna turn it down to about right there, and then uh, we'll jump on to our next destination. See what happens from here. Okay, we'll go ahead and attack the ship. It's only got the one shield, so we'll just use the burst laser on the uh, weapon, so I don't have to deal with those. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, well, at least the missile is gone. And alone, we'll fix the shields up pretty quickly. Okay, and now they can't do crap to me. So, that's one way of going about it. But yeah, so far, um, days have been going pretty good. You know, it's uh, kind of... I've uh, been fairly normal around here lately. Uh temperature had cooled down a little bit and now it's warming back up a little bit but it's finally gonna cool down a little bit uh, I think next week again so all right I still never get tired of those explosion effects okay oh that's nice that thing gave me uh, info on all the surrounding area we'll go here first since this is a store but um yeah, no, I'm, I'm hopefully going to have a pretty fun weekend. My, uh, my, uh, a friend of, me and my roommates is coming up and is going to bring his, uh, Switch up and we'll play a bunch of, uh, you know, Mario Kart and stuff like that. And I haven't played a Switch yet. It, you know, it's late into the year now and I still haven't even touched a Switch. So, oh man. A nearby planet shows signs of habitation and great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message into space. Warning, quarantine level 5 in effect under FHA Act 22, Article 11.2. Warning, quarantine level 5. Oh, that kind of sucks for them. Okay, well, nothing there, so I guess we'll just go to the shop and have a kind of freebie. <sighs> okay. I might as well go ahead and fix up, because all the only thing I have is my burst laser mark too, and I am not selling that. So I'll go ahead and go ahead and fix up, and then there's nothing else I can really do. So I don't even. It's not like I need missiles, so I'll buy one fuel. I'll buy one fuel to top things off, and then we will go here to the distress signal, and then to the exit. So far, a pretty easy first sector, but usually the first sector is pretty easy. They're looking for some military supplies and are offering to try to improve your reactor in exchange. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I've got exactly the amount of uh, droid, or drone parts I need, so... Upgraded the reactor by one. Nice! They gave me a power bar, so that's nice. I'll add that into our engines so I can evade a little easier. Now we'll go to the distress signal and then on to the exit. Uh, the ship emitting the distress beacon messages you, Sorry to bother you, but we're out of fuel and can't get out of this barren sector. Could you help us out? You know what? I'll give them the fuel. I'm, I've got... That'll leave me with five, so... Ooh, Hull Smasher Laser Mark II? Oh, I've never... Never even... Uh, never gotten one of those before. Well, how does this work? Powerful counterpart to the Hull Smasher Mark I fires more projectiles per shot. Hull weapons deal double damage if they hit a room that does not have a system or a subsystem. So this would come in handy against something like the Rebel Flagship later on. Or something that I'm really trying to get gone quickly. Unfortunately, I don't have enough weapon power to power both it and the Burst Laser. And I don't even have enough power to power it alone yet. So for right now, it can stay unpowered. It requires three power, charge time of 15 seconds. It gives three shots per charge. And it has fire chance and breach chance. It's pretty good. Uh, no, I don't want to waste fuel, so we'll go on to uh, we'll go on to here, and then you come out of the jump to see laser blasts coming from the other side of the beacon. It looks like someone is under attack from pirates. We'll aid them. 
you know, that's no big deal. Oh, man. You know, despite always helping people out in games like this, taking the moral option, you know, I do feel like... Oh, wow, that was lucky. Flak shots normally do a ton of damage to me. I feel like, in reality, um, a lot of people would definitely not take the uh, moral option. They would probably just be like, well, I owe them nothing, so I will just get on out of here. Okay, at least the flat gun is gone, so... As long as that's gone, I don't need to worry about everything else right now. The doors and the med bay are fine on their own. Ooh, that was nice. Alright. Easy peasy. Contact the civilian ship. They did not survive. I take what I can. Okay, you go repair the med bay real quick, and you know what? You go ahead and help out, because you both need health. Let them heal up real quick, and then they'll repair the doors, and I'll be on my way. Oh, just a moment of your time. All right, everybody back to your positions. All right, let's, uh... Actually, am I able to... This wouldn't really help at the moment, but... Hmm. I could put more into my evasion and take it away from the med bay. We'll do that. Up my evasion a little bit. On to the next sector. I do not want to go to an uncharted nebula because that would absolutely destroy pretty much any of my chances of going on for the rest of this playthrough, especially with that being the second sector. But I don't really want to go through rock controlled either because both the options after that are red. <sighs> we'll go through rock controlled. Not my first choice, but these things happen. Should tread carefully here. We'll see what happens. Oh wow, this is a fairly populated sector. Let's see, this would give me one, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five. And then I could even feasibly go six, seven. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Looks like a good way to go about it. Uh. As a naturally warlike species with few intergalactic diplomatic ties, the rock people have garnered quite a reputation as fearsome pirates. You stumble across one of their ships and they promptly live up to hype or live up to type. Okay. I'm loving this music. It's pretty sweet. Uh at the very least, these first couple of sectors won't be too difficult. I'm surprised that that actually completely destroyed the weapon like that. We'll just focus on the weapons. I can't do anything else. I can't take out the crew. I don't have bombs or anything like that. Go ahead and hit the shields too. Or nope. Hit the weapons. I don't want their missiles to even get close to me. Oh my god, they're persistent with those weapons. My advanced laser here will, uh, or art artillery beam, will probably, yep, massively help me out there. Alright, bum bum bum. Alright, leaving behind a substantial, substantial collection of useful scrap material. That was quite a bit, actually. Okay, alone, you go back and heal that up real quick take a look at what I can possibly do. That would take me 50 plus at least another oh, 20 plus 25. It would take me at least 45 and then 50, so a total of 95 power bars in order to, or a total of 95 scrap in order to upgrade my shields. So for right now we'll take a look at what stuff there is here. Oh, the next one's a store. Okay. I'll just go ahead and jump then. Let's see, come across a rock trading post. It's rare they deal with outsiders, but they need to sell the last of their stock, and will pay their dues for their transgression when they return home. Aw, so they're gonna get punished for dealing with me? That sucks. Uh, I can't really... 
they don't have a teleporter or anything like I would like. And I've only got one mantis anyway. That would be good for uh, fighting on board ship. I don't want drones, so that's fine by me. That kind of sucks. So we'll go ahead and repair and buy a couple. I'll be back up to the eight. And then we'll get out of here. Let alone finish fixing that up real quick, and then we'll... Yeah, now if you noticed, if you don't know, whenever somebody is powering the doors like that, they'll change colors because they're more powerful. When they're more powerful, that means that it takes longer for uh, boarding parties to get through the doors, which gives you more time to, you know, get your crew away if you need to, and then open up the doors so that you can vent the air and possibly suffocate the boarding party before they even get anywhere close to hurting you. Well, this is lucky. Distress beacon. We'll just keep following the pattern I set out at the beginning, I guess. Follow the distress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail them to offer them assistance. They respond, help! Our shields are down and we won't last long. I'll try to shield them. I'll try to shield them. I got 12 scrap at least. That's kind of sad, but when it comes to things like that involving asteroid belts, I like to try and help out. Because the the most I lose is a little bit of hull damage. That's it. So. Oh, but we all know in real life you would probably not do such a thing. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh man. I was watching the movie The Big Short earlier. It's it's interesting, but I'm just not. A fan. I just, I never wanted to watch it in the first place, and so because I'm having to watch it in a class, I'm being forced to watch it. And I considered not even going to class because I don't want to see that movie in the first place. I know it might be a good movie. I know that a lot of people love it. Uh, but it's just, I didn't want to see it, so being forced to watch it like that is kind of annoying to me. I've been forced to watch movies before, or TV shows, and it's just, it's not fun. When you're forced to watch something that kind of ruins your enjoyment of it. I will not accept surrender. If It would be different if I had wanted to watch the movie. I would willingly, you know, take down notes or whatever it is, you know, that we need to do for it. See, I got way more scrap that time. But considering that I'm being forced to watch it, it kind of ruins the enjoyment of it a little bit for me. I'm not saying it's a bad movie, I'm just saying that I personally don't enjoy it. Alright, alone, get back to your post. Let's see... Go down to here. I think we can do good uh, for right now without upgrading anything just yet. Because we're up to 58 scraps, so... Just a few abandoned depots. Okay, big... Hooray. We'll go here, then. See a small trading post and ask about refueling, but they respond, go away. Wow, that was a waste of my time. We'll go here, then. Kind of wasting fuel so far. <sighs> Intruders on board. At least they're in that room. Oh, but venting the oxygen won't do much to them, so... Unfortunately, I'm going to get my rock crewmate to go over here and help out. And we will attack the weapons first thing. Man is going to have to get out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, take it out of that real quick. Heal them up. Get rid of their weapons. Oh my gosh. Go back here, heal that up real quick. It just had to be rock crew. Come on. At least... Okay, that that's good, that's good. So far, so good on health for them. Okay. We'll just 
do that real quick, and then after this, we'll take care of these guys. Oh, okay. That was fast. Let that get healed up real quick. Alone, you go heal up. All of you go heal up as well. Oh, walks. Uh, doesn't need it, so... Everybody back to their original positions. A is gonna have to uh, heal up the pilot's seat first. He's gonna have to do some repairs. His uh, leather arm, his leather arm rests uh, got damaged in the fighting. It seems. <laughs> okay, what's up? I think I can go one more here, and then we'll we'll head for the exit. Or I could possibly get to the store, it depends. Uh, Curious Sight greets you. We'll wait and then attack the surviving Mantis. The Mantis craft may have their differences, but when it comes to you, they are of one mind. The smaller ship suffers a power failure as it moves to engage, but the larger one lets off a volley of fire and moves into attack. Ooh, they have uh, teleporting. We'll get this one over here real quick. Yeah, well, this is how we'll do it. Take that out real quick. Actually, we'll do this. That gives them less ability to uh, fix up their stuff. And then we'll attack their weapons. Nice, nice. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up. Alright, everybody back to positions. And then, why don't we hit their O2 as well? See if we can't suffocate them. Just uh, kind of slowly going along here. Oh, I forgot about the artillery beam. That thing comes in so much handy. In the time it took you to eliminate the Mantis ship, the rock must have repaired the FTL drive and jumped away. Uh, you picked the bones of both Mantis vessels. Two fuel, two missiles, 22 scrap, and a lifeform scanner. I forgot what that does. Detects the location of any lifeforms, even when sensors don't function. That, that'll come in handy at some point. Okay, we'll jump to the store real quick. And then we'll go to the exit. Let's pray, I guess. Okay, what's on page two? Ooh, burst laser mark three. Oh, that that requires four power. I wouldn't be able to do that. A couple of burst lasers might come in handy, though. How long does it take uh, my burst laser to charge? Twelve seconds. Eleven seconds. This would kind of come in handy, I think, actually. And it only requires two power. Yeah, if I time it right, this would come in handy, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to do this. We'll fix all as well. And... Get a couple of fuel. Get, get a fuel there, and then we'll get out of here. Oh, oh, wow, that is really skirting it close. Wow. We've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. Let's see, you look like a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade, and we could try to improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. I'll agree to that trade. I don't have any use for my missiles or drone parts right now. Upgraded the reactor by one. That, That is nice. That is really nice. Okay, so, um... I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop things off there. Next video, we will, uh, you know, start things off in a new sector. And uh, we'll go from there. This has been Robert Plays. <laughs> and uh, I hope that you've been enjoying these videos. Remember to, uh, you know, give me a comment, a like, and subscribe if you, you know, want to see more videos like this. Uh, see you around.